the stealth bomber that still sends shivers down the spines of the enemies, the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit. It has been over 40 years since its project started and 35 years since its first flight, and yet to this day, its abilities remain unmatched and are expected to be in service for another 10 years. So what exactly is about this felt yet unseen aircraft? Let's find out. The Northrop B-2 Spirit is a multi-role bomber. Its unique stealth characteristics helps it penetrate the most advanced defenses to attack high-value targets that were once unreachable. Low detectability, heavy payload, and highly efficient aerodynamics makes it the right candidate for the job. The B-2 Spirit can be used for nuclear and conventional missions. It has a crew of two, which includes a pilot and a mission commander. The B-2 can fly up to altitudes as high as 50,000 feet. It weighs about 160,000 pounds and has a fuel capacity of 167,000 pounds. Its sleek wing design means that it can carry a higher payload and can travel longer distances. The B-2 can travel up to 6,000 miles without refueling and has a payload of 40,000 pounds. What exactly is in this payload of 40,000 pounds? Bombs? Lots of them. The B-2 was initially devised for nuclear strikes and this included the B-61 and B-83 nuclear bombs and the AGM-129 ACM cruise missile. Later, the B-2 was made compatible for conventional ammunition as well. By 2004, the B-2 could carry up to 80 joint direct attack munitions. The B-2 can equip Mark 82, 84 bombs, the CBU-87 combined effects munition and Gator mines. The B-2 can also be equipped with two massive ordnance penetrators in each bomb bay. Each of these weigh 14,000 kgs. In terms of mission success rate, the B-2 is as best as things could get. It was first deployed in operation during the Operation Allied Force, an air campaign to destroy Yugoslav military infrastructure. Two B-52s were involved in the operation. They would fly for over 31 hours from their base in Missouri to Kosovo. They would penetrate the air defenses and destroy multiple targets before coming back to their base. The B-2 would destroy over one-third of the targets despite flying for less than 31% of the total missions. The B-2 was present on the first night of the war since it was introduced. Whether it be Serbia, Afghanistan, Iraq or even Libya, the B-2 was the first to arrive at the scene and one that you can say with surety that it will return home. If that record wasn't impressive enough, the B-2 holds the record for longest air combat mission in history. Six B-2s would penetrate Afghan airspace for over 44 hours. While it seems that the B-2 has a perfect record, that is not exactly the case here. Its failure was not from an enemy's high-tech, but from the U.S.'s own hands. On the 23rd of February 2008, the Spirit of Kansas would crash on the runway soon after its takeoff and fortunately, both the crew members would eject in time and survive. The investigation suggests that condensation inside the electronic devices caused incorrect data to be transmitted to the computers, which ultimately led to the crash. And to this date, this has been the only crash that the B-2 has on its record. All of this sounds cool, and while it remains quite stealthy under the enemy radars, its cost wasn't so. This aircraft makes the saying cost its weight in gold sound like a joke, since it would actually cost eight times that amount. Its maintenance cost itself is about $3.4 million a month. The cost to procure each of these would be $737 million, and if you include the spare parts and software support, this would go up to $929 million per aircraft. Procuring an aircraft isn't enough. Running it is important as well. This aircraft has a per hour operating cost of $135,000 per hour. The project in itself would cost $44.75 billion, which is equivalent to 71 billion US dollars in 2021. This meant that the program cost $2.13 billion per aircraft. The reason why they cost so high is because they couldn't get the benefits of economies of scale. The Advanced Technology Bomber Program started in the late 70s as a result of the increasing tensions of the Cold War. When the Soviet Union collapsed in the 1990s, there was no longer a need for a stealth bomber. For an initial plan of 132 aircraft, it went to nearly half to 75 aircraft in the mid-1980s, and with the end of the war and congressional opposition, it was cut down to just 20 aircraft. A prototype was later converted, which led to a total of 21. If you look at the dimensions of the B-2, it is 17 feet high, 69 feet long, and is more than twice as wide as it is long, having a wingspan of 172 feet. Now to put things into perspective as to how large this aircraft is, 
Its wingspan is almost half the length of a football field. That might be quite confusing to many, since smaller would make it harder to spot, right? How does a flight this big manage to go undetected by radars even today? You are looking right at it. The aircraft's body is beautiful and elegant, but don't let that fool you. It's one of the most dangerous pieces of technology ever created. Its design sets itself apart from other aircraft. It has one of the most recognizable aircraft designs, yet happens to be one of the least spotted. If you could trace the roots of this design, you could go back to the legendary American designer Jack Northrop. The U.S. Army was in need of a bomber that could carry at least 4,500 kilograms of bombs and could travel 10,000 miles at a single go. The founder of the Northrop, legendary Jack Northrop, would work on this project. This led to the creation of the YB-49 prototype, which even set an endurance record. However, several crashes, pilot deaths, instability and lack of necessity led the U.S. to destroy and scrap all the YB-49s in existence. Even though it was unsuccessful, it was noticed that there was a significant reduction in the radar cross-section, and this was the base to what would become the B-2 stealth bomber. A radar cross-section is a measure of a target's ability to reflect radar signals in the direction of the radar receiver, and B-2s is just 0.1 meter square. To put that in perspective, a cargo aircraft could have a cross-section of a 100 meter square. Another reason why flying wings is the best shape to go for was because it has a higher lift and no tail meant that it has better aerodynamics. The B-2's design also has several curves and rounded surfaces that are placed in such a manner that it could deflect radar beams. The fact that it has no tail was the reason why such a design could only come into action in the late 20th century. No tail meant that it would be hard for the pilots to maneuver and handle the aircraft. This often led to crashes. Instead of a tail, the B-2 uses split rudders. What split rudders do is that they act as air brakes, which slow the sides of the wing and this results in a yawing motion. However, using the split rudders could compromise stealth since it can increase the radar cross-section of the plane. To counter this, the B-2 has differential thrusting of its left and right engines. The advancement of computer technology was substantial to the working of the Northrop B-2. As we have said before, the flying wing design without a tail lacks a lot of stability. The U.S. would secretly develop a computer software that was so advanced that it could translate the commands of the pilots to the flight surface and engines which led to better handling and even perform maneuvers that flying wing designs normally could not. The design by itself is not enough to remain undetected, especially with advancement in radar technology. As a result, the B-2 uses radar absorbent materials that can absorb and counteract the radar waves. Even without the aid of additional radar absorbent material, the B-2 is quite stealthy. The skin of the B-2 is composed of non-conductive carbon graphite composite material which can absorb an enormous amount of radar energy. Information regarding the radar absorbent material and technology is mostly hidden from the general public. What powers this legendary aircraft are not one or two, but four General Electric F-118 GE-100 turbofans. Each of these fans could produce 17,300 pounds of thrust. Even though this stealth vehicle cannot do supersonic speeds, it is quite fast and it has a top speed of 628 miles per hour. Breaking the speed of sound would be contradictory since a sonic boom would be the last thing you want while in stealth. With four turbofan engines, anyone would wonder why it won't get picked up by infrared search and track systems. In order to reduce the thermal signature, the engines are placed deep into the fuselage. Also, the B-2 has a mechanism through which the hot air from the exhaust is mixed with the cold air from the boundary layer before it reaches the nozzles which again reduces the heat signatures. And it's this sophisticated technology that makes the B-2 what it is. Even today, Northrop continually works on and improves the B-2 even though its successor B-21 has been revealed. It's expected that B-2 will serve the U.S. Army until 2032. Do you think the B-2 is the greatest stealth aircraft to be ever built? Could the B-21 keep up the name of its predecessor? Let us know what you think in the comments below.